Now let's take a look at macro viruses. First, what is a macro? A macro is actually a program embedded in a document, such as a Microsoft Word document. It typically contains instructions for some useful functions, such as opening a file or starting a new application. And because a macro is an executable program, it can be infected by viruses just like any other executable programs. What's unique about macro viruses is that users typically don't suspect that a document will contain a virus. Here's how a macro virus can typically spread. First, the attacker creates a macro that contains a virus and attaches it to a Word document. And then this document can be sent around, for example, through email attachment. And then, when an unsuspecting user clicks on the email attachment and opens the document, the document is opened on the user's computer. When the document is opened, the macro executes, and as a result, the microvirus also runs. The virus then copies itself to the global macro file. When the document opens, the macro executes, and the microvirus also runs. When the microvirus runs, it can perform a number of malicious activities such as sending the same Word document to a number of users in the user's address book as an attachment, and thus spreading itself. What's more interesting is that the microvirus can copy itself to the global macro file. As a result, whenever the user opens a new document or creates a new document, the global macro will be copied into the document. And that's another way that the microvirus can spread.